Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. If it's your first time here, you like the content, hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications when we go live or post videos like these, tap the bell. And if you want to join the UBH fan, which is our community, links are in the description below to our Discord, our free options trading group on Facebook, along with our Patreon if you're interested in supporting what we do here. Definitely appreciate all that, that do. But we're going to get into it. I'm going to do a how-to video. This is for beginners on how to buy a sell, how to buy and sell a debit put spread on Robinhood. So, you know, there's there's going to be a lot going on here. But first and for, foremost, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have permissions in Robinhood to buy and sell spreads. You go to your account, click on settings and go to options trading which we have here and you'll see that you'll have all these check marks here, you'll be good to go. If you don't if you don't have a check mark by buying and selling spreads, you want to hit the upgrade button. I have the downgrade button because I have all per the permissions to do everything within Robinhood. But if you don't have permissions yet, hit upgrade, and then Robinhood will get back to you and let you know that you've been you've been upgraded into your account. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be talking about a a put debit spread if on on SPY. So I'm just gonna do SPY. And one of the reasons why I like SPY is nice and liquid. A lot of people trade it and it's easy to get fills, especially on Robinhood. Now, Robinhood is not my main broker, but when I do trade on Robinhood, I always make sure that the volume is nice and high. In SPY, you'll never, never have that problem. I'm doing it on the web platform. This is the same exact thing on the mobile app as well. So I'm just going to go to the options and we're going to actually going to do execute an order and some tips on 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 the how I like to actually do the order because in Robinhood they don't allow you to like on other platforms you're able to like select debit spread or debit uh, debit call spread or debit put spread or whatever you want to do um, we're going to go on the put side because we're going to do a debit spread put spread and I'm actually going to open and close an order so you can kind of see from beginning to end I'm most likely going to lose money on it because this is just for example purposes only I'm not looking to make it uh, any money and I just want to show you kind of how to open an order how much it'll cost and all that so we are going to open a open an order on 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 spy for the put spread and if you don't know what a debit put spread is you know definitely definitely look it up but actually when you do a debit put spread that means you're actually going to be short something so unlike a credit you're going to be paying out a debit so that means it's going to cost you money to put the trade on so we're going to go through that um, right now what i'm going to do is for example purposes you know right now spy is 30310 and let's say by november 1st which is in which is two days from now i think that i think that spy is going to be below i think spy is going to be below like 302 so what i'll do here is i will actually put on the leg closest to in the money so what you want to do is you want to buy the leg closest to in the money. So I'm going to say, hey, it's going to be below 302. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> and then I'm going to sell the 301. So this is going to give me a nice defined risk. I can only, with a debit put spread, one of the reasons why you would put it on, maybe implied volatility is low, premium is cheap. You know, kind of like it is now. So, and versus versus instead of getting a credit for something, I would rather put on a debit spread when premium is on the cheap side. So, you know, as you can see here, you know that you did the order right if you hit if you, if it says this if you put put debit spread. You know you do the order wrong. Let let me get rid of the let me get rid of the sell. If you accidentally let's say you accidentally bought two of them instead of hit buy and then sell on another one you'll actually have two buy you'll have two option order and this is how you know you did it wrong so Robinhood does recognize the strategy that you do put in there however however they don't give you the options to quickly do it so you know like when you're when you're doing this in op, when you're doing this in Robinhood I, I kind of compare it to like building Legos you kind of have to build your own strategy um, but I'm gonna get rid of that three three oh one um, buy. So let me sell that three oh one. So for a put debit spread, you buy the leg the strike closest to in the money, and then you sell, you hit sell the 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 strike 
further out from the money. So I bought the 302 put here because I believe SPY is going to be below 302 by in the next couple days. And then I sold the 301 put as to define my risk. Now this is this is going to cost me 25 cents. The one thing that Robinhood does not do, it does not show you how much money can you make off this trade. And it's pretty simple. It's the width of the strikes. And what do you mean by that? So what, what I mean by that is it's a dollar, it's a dollar wide. The strikes are a dollar wide right here. So um, since one contract equals a hundred dollars, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna write this out for you for some of those people that are visual learners. Um, you know, one contract equals I'm sorry, one one contract equals a hundred shares, right? So because of that we are going to multiply first the total cost which is we'll just call it 25 cents cost 25 cents multiply by 100 so my total cost is going to be 25 dollars and then the width of the strikes is one dollar so it's one dollar through here so it's going to be one dollar so you're going to multiply that by 100 so it's going to be max profit so width of the strikes <clears throat> going to be a dollar times a hundred equals a hundred dollars now you need to deduct you need to deduct the the amount that it costs you okay so to understand how much money you're gonna make from this trade or potentially what your max profit is because when you define your risk you're saying hey I'm only gonna lose so much money but you're gonna cap your gonna cap your gains as well so you can only make so much money so to determine how much money that actually is it's going to be the difference so you're gonna subtract you're going to subtract what it costs you and the width of the strikes so that's gonna be 75 cents times a hundred equals $75 Okay, so because of the width, width of the strikes, it's going to be a hundred dollars, one dollar width, hundred dollars. You're going to deduct how much it costs you, twenty-five cents, and then I'll kind of run through this again and show you um, after I place this order what it looks like when you when you when you when you widen it. So I'm going to actually put this trade on right now. It's kind of the cost is going up. I'm going to hit continue here. I'm just going to buy one. Now, um, the bid and the ask is pretty pretty tight. I'm gonna try to get this mid price of, of 26. I don't do market orders. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this price for, for 26 bucks here. Hit review. I'm gonna submit this order right now. Probably not, because now it's moving. The, the one thing on Robinhood, sometimes you have to place the orders a little bit higher. So let's try it. Let's try 27 cents, because their, their order execution is not as fast as other platforms. Nope. Sometimes you can wait, see if the price will come to you, but I don't want to waste a lot of time here for this order. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go right at the 28, and see if they can fill me up. Okay, so this is filled. Make sure when you put the order on, it says filled. Like like what just happened there? If I put the order in and it didn't get filled and I walked away, that doesn't mean that means the order is is waiting for that price to come in, but it doesn't mean you actually got filled there. So you will then see this order here. I just have it right here. The 302, 301 put spread. And all you have to do to close it, so I'm, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose money on this, but um, all you have to do to close it. Now I don't know why, I don't know why it says one available here. I don't know why it does, doesn't auto fill that, but it's just an issue. It's kind of annoying, but. You can go to review order just to close it. So make sure you're going close. If you if sometimes sometimes I notice that it does default to open. If you hit open, it will buy another one. You will buy another one if you hit open here. So I'm gonna hit close. Okay, review the order. We're gonna lose we're gonna lose a couple bucks on this. So let's see if it let's see if it will sell for 26. <laughs> these guys, these guys. get filled no 
Okay, so we're going to try to get 25 now. Not filled. So the value the value is going down. Oh, it did get it did get filled here. Did get filled, it looks like. <clears throat> so I just got a notification. So they, they give you notifications here, but they don't like pop up or anything. Um, so, yeah, so we lost. So I put that trade on for 28, sold it for 25, so I lost $3 on that. So with a, with a debit spread, you want the option price to increase. You do not want it to de decrease. So I wanted that. I wanted that option price to go as close to a dollar as possible. In this scenario, obviously, for the example purposes, that that went down because um, that that position had a few ticks against me there. So sold for twenty five dollars. Lost on lost three bucks on that. But just kind of show you how to open and close that. You can open and close a a a trade at any time. As long as you have the day trades or or you have uh you're above pdt if you have more than 25k in the account that kind of thing um but let's go back to spy I just want to kind of show you real quick so that's kind of how to open and close one um but i want to show you real quick how the pricing changes so i'm gonna do the same trade but i'm gonna do i'm gonna do two dollar wide so i'm actually going to buy the 301 and then i'm gonna oh, i'm on the call side we want to be on the put side. So I'm going to buy the 301 and sell. Actually, I'm going to buy I'm going to buy the 302 because that's what we did last time. So I'm going to buy the 302 and then I'm going to sell the 300. So I'm going to do instead of a dollar wide, I'm going to do two dollar wide. Now you can see here the cost is going to be 45 cents, right? So the cost is gonna be 45 cents. So you're, the amount that it costs you is gonna be more money. However, now your profit's gonna be higher though. Your max profit's gonna be higher. So let's just say it's 45 cents. We'll kind of do the same thing, $2 wide strikes. So we're gonna do $2 wide strike minus the, we'll just say 45 cents. Just, just for purposes here. So the the max width, the max amount that I can make is two dollars. It's going to cost me forty five cents here. So we can make a dollar fifty five on this bad boy times hundred, of course. So you can kind of see you can kind of see how you want to scale scale your risk on that. So you can see that with a dollar wide. You know your 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 cost is lower, but your max profit is lower. However, with with the dollar wide or two, uh, the two dollar wide, you know the cost is going to be more. It's going to be forty five cents, but then you but then it's double. So your risk kind of doubles, and you can kind of see how you want to play with that in terms of your strategy and how how, how you want to go about things. Um, but I just want to do a quick video on how to buy sell a debit put spread and why you would put that on, and you want to put that on if you're if you're if you want to be short that stock or, or ETF. So if you have any questions below, you know, feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, really appreciate it. And if you wanna, again, if you wanna join the UVH fam, links are below in the description. As always, stay safe, stay green. It's us versus herd.